everybody. Our story today is called Kangaroo's Can Can Cafe, written by Julia Jarman and Lynn Chapman. So I don't know how many of you have read this story before, but I love this story. So I hope you enjoyed it too. Kangaroo went to France and saw a great dance. He soon became a big fan. He sat every day in a glitzy cafe, enjoying the jolly can-can. Can you see that? There we go. But back in Australia, with all this regalia, his spirits started to droop. He so missed the dance that he loved in Belle France till he thought, I'll start my own troupe. I'll hold an audition, a can-can competition. Long-legged dancers I'll seek. I'll have a can-can cafe. Folk will come all the way from Lily Pilly to Albany Creek. First to turn up was a wombat called Whoop. I don't think so, said Kanga to him. Then a pot-bellied pig did a bit of a jig, but his trotters were short and too thin. A dozy possum called Clive was the next to arrive. The can-can, said Kanga, is quick. Then a proud platypus caused such a fuss but she didn't manage one kick. Kangaroo, in despair, threw his hands in the air, threw a long-legged frog, was quite able. But she lacked the height and fled the stage with fright when Croc cried, here, dance on my table. The crop tried to step it. Kangaroo said, forget it. Your can-can isn't even so-so. You're like all the others. You slither and slither. Your bottom is much, much too low. Koala sleepily slurred. I have heard of a bird with long legs and a bottom that is high. Cookaburra scoffed. <laughs> Why? That bird is too shy. She won't dance. She can't even fly. Cookaburra was right. Emu kept out of sight, away from the other bird's jeers. But Kangaroo asked politely, and she blushed very brightly. Then she kicked, and he broke into cheers. As Emu kicked her legs high, she caught Kanga's eye. He was smit from the very first glance. Her can, -can was bliss. He blew her a kiss. Emu, you really can dance. Have you got Emu friends? Kanga said at the end. You're fantastic, he cried with a whoop. She was off with a wish, I'll ask round the bush, and soon she was back with her own can-can -can troop. Crowds came early and bright for the opening night of can-cans, oh sorry, of can-can, <laughs> of Kanga's great can-can -can cafe. They all sat in suspense. When will it commence? The world famous can can display. Then into the light stepped a bird bold and bright, for Emu was no longer shy. At the head of her clan, she began to can can. Oh, and the claps and the cheers reached the sky. The end. So, 
I hope you enjoyed your story this afternoon. Perhaps you can go and have a wee can-can yourselves just now. How high can you kick up your legs? So I will see you all tomorrow um, after assembly. So enjoy your evening. Bye for now.